Hi, I'm Dave and welcome back to Brentech IT Support. Today we're going to have an unboxing and look at the Acer Predator X34P gaming monitor. It's a resolution of 3440 by 1440. It's an ultra wide QUAND HD monitor with NVIDIA G-Sync built in. It comes with five USB 3 ports, one HDMI 2.0 port, and a full-size display port. Apparently it comes with a cable as well for that. We'll see when you get, in, get inside the box. It has a refresh rate of four milliseconds, and it has a 100 hertz refresh rate from default, but you can up it to 120 hertz. And it also has a response time of four milliseconds. Let's go on and see in the box. Now, normally I don't think they come with all this extra packaging, but I'm glad they did that because with a monitor of this quality and price range, you want to make sure it arrives in one piece. And we do see some dents in the box in transit, but hopefully nothing would have got through the outer packaging and obviously all the packaging inside. Obviously be careful when you do certain packaging, make sure you don't damage anything inside. They actually have a set of instructions at the top showing you how to take it out as well. In the top section, we have a bracket, which is probably a cable retaining bracket. Power brick. We do get some cables. We've got a USB 3 cable. Continental power cable. UK power cable. That looks like a Visa mount. Got your instruction manuals. A full-size display port cable, full-size HDMI cable. We can now lift the top section off. And the stand does come pre-assembled to it, which is great because I see some monitors coming with a stand separate. Yeah, now we can take the sleeve off. They've got some protective edging on here for the marketing. So peel that off. It is nice that it's actually got a sturdy carry handle there so you can pick it up from that. That's actually very good of them to put that on. It is a heavy screen so do be careful when moving it around. There are rubbers underneath the feet so you won't scratch any surface. We have four USB 3 ports there and that fifth one is the input port so you can connect it to your computer. Calling that five? A mm, little bit misleading I think but technically I guess it's got five. Okay you've got your power button, function one and function two which you can program to do other tasks. And then the third one is your function input key. So that will take you from HDMI to DisplayPort. If you want to remove it from this stand and put it on a separate arm or something like that, you can remove these panels using these screws and mount this to the back of it. And so you can then mount it to an extendable arm and have it more positionable if that's what you want. Or just leave it on this very nice stand. All right, we've been trying to find where to put this bracket that comes with the monitor. It's not in the quick start guide and there's no obvious place to clip it to. I assume it's for some cable management, but it doesn't seem to clip anywhere. So if you do know where it clips and what it's for, can you just post a comment down below and help everyone out? Cheers guys. We'll connect our USB cable. Put 
And so obviously it gives you a nice USB 3 hub, which is very helpful. You can keep your keyboard and stuff plugged into that aren't requiring such high data speeds because obviously you wouldn't want to do hard drives through that, but other peripherals would be great to connect to that. Webcams should be okay as well. Now to plug the power in. Obviously you'll do your cable management around your desk, however your particular setup is. Then you can plug that into the mains. Now there was a nice cable tidy clip on here, so it doesn't adjust, doesn't slide down the cable, so excess cable you can clip up behind it, but generally good cable management underneath the desk would be better. We're going to use our existing HDMI cable as we've got a gold plated slightly higher grade cable than what came with it, but the one that comes with it should be fine. That is quite a tight port to get it into. And then we can reconnect our cover. And then we'll plug it into our laptop, power it on and show you what it looks like. Okay, it hasn't automatically detected it, so I'll have to go to the other side and change the input. Okay, now obviously we're going to have to reset our screen resolution to match the format of this screen. Um, it didn't automatically sync, but now it is connected. It does have a, it's an incredibly good viewing angle. It's very nice. Okay, we've just got a demo HDR video playing. Um, it's gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Unfortunately, the camera's not going to pick this up because we haven't got a HDR 4K camera. But it's a lovely screen. And then we put HDR on, and you can see the difference. Hopefully the camera picks that up. It's a lovely, lovely picture. Right. Well, obviously customize the settings to make it how you want it with the aspect ratios, um, the zoom ratio, because with the high resolution, icons and things can start looking a bit funny. So spend your time customizing it for you and your uses, and you'll be very happy with it. This is a beautiful monitor. We're gonna put it upstairs in our editing suite so that we can use the Predator laptop with the Predator screen so we can get some more edits done and get videos out quicker for you guys. Well, if you do want one, there'll be a link for it down in the description below. But again, just like the laptop and the Acer screen, they're hard to get just like in video graphics cards. They are available, so if you do see it, grab it when you see it. If you see it in a, on a deal, definitely go grab it then. But holding out for deals, you could end up waiting for quite a while. So work out your budget. And if you can go for one of these, you'll be happy. Well, do talk to us in the comments below and ask us how we're getting on. And if you can find out what that little clip is, again, let us know. We love hearing from you guys. It's really great community out there. Really do appreciate it. If you did like the video and found it helpful, do give it a good thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Well, as always, have a great day and see you soon. Bye for now.